Well, hello, fellow fans of the Formula One, and welcome back to episode 3 of the My Team Career Mode with Baguette Grand Prix. Today's episode will be for the Vietnamese Grand Prix, or Vietnam Grand Prix as you prefer. Uh, we have some activities before to, uh, to planify, uh, or to plan, I don't know. Um, we're going to do some weight training to, to train Louis de la Troise a bit. Uh, we're going to do some durability team building. Uh, we have five day left. We're going to do, I mean, we could do some PR filming to increase cash and a claim. Should we increase our claim rate or increase the arrow? We're going to go for some arrow, right? My, my car is the priority right now. We'll have two days with nothing. Uh, can I ask for anything? I cannot. Okay, we're still the... Well, in the bottom three, just ahead of Haas and Williams. Now, Vietnam is a track I hated on the start, but I've actually practiced it a lot with the F2 cars to do some of the objectives of the pit lane, of the pit lane pass, or paddock pass, whatever it's called. Uh, so I've now grown to like it. So I'm quite curious to see how the race will go in Hanoi. Right, and you just saw that we have a new rival in Romain Grosjean. He'll be our first rival this year and uh, in this save. Uh, so we'll see if we can beat him in uh, the streets of Hanoi. We have uh, a decent setup with us. Uh, and yeah, let's just try to go for a, for a decent first lap. I think we qualified 19th on the first race and 19th on the second. Let's try to hit that. If we can get like P15, I'd be happy. And we're on the way for our quality in Hanoi. Uh, as I said, my aim is to get out of Q3. I don't know if it's going to be possible or not. But we're going to see. I mean, with that first corner, we're not going to go very far. Uh, so I think this lap is already in the bin. Uh, if I want to qualify slightly high. Alright, Valtteri did a 35.3. Uh, I remember doing in quali, no, in practice program, sorry. Um, a 38.1 I think, which was a second and a half slower than what my team expected from me, so I'm quite scared Because this lap is not even going to be as quick as my practice program was All right final corner We're gonna scrape the wall, which is definitely not good uh, And it's the same time as Louis de la Troise. Yeah, we'll forget about that lap. We'll go for another one later one in the save All right, we're gonna go for a second lap 30 seconds left in Q1. Come on. I said I wanted to be out of Q3. I did mean Q1, by the way. All right. I just uh, inverted the, the two quality sessions. But for now, it's not looking good. I was a bit better. We'll, we'll completely forget that there was a corner cut, yeah? Final corner. We're going to be up by like 3 tenths, I think. But it should be P18 on the grid. Yeah. I mean, it's plus one compared to what I wished. Uh, it's it's a shame. I was like three tenths down at uh, the penultimate corner. So, um, I mean, let's see what would I... What, what, wow, English. What could have happened if I had been... Uh, I I would have been, yeah, there. Okay, Grosjean uh, beats me, which is a shame. Who's last? Oh, wow, surprising. Latifi. Magnussen. Okay. We're still ahead of both Williams and ahead of Haas. Okay. Formula One Circus has arrived in Southeast Asia once more as we usher in a new era and get ready to go racing here in Vietnam. A lap of Hanoi Circuit then, 3.4 miles around the Vietnamese capital. A number of the 23 corners take their inspiration from other great circuits, hopefully creating plenty of passing opportunities. Anthony Davidson also joins me in the commentary box today. Now, let's talk about Charles Leclerc. That was a great win at the last race. Can they keep that momentum going this weekend? There are never any guarantees in this business, but certainly the performance last time out would have boosted their confidence coming into this one. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Verstappen, Sebastian Vettel, and Albon. 
Ricardo, Sainz, Norris, and Sergio Perez. Ocon, Stroll, Daniel Kvyat, and Gasly, Giovinazzi, Grosjean, Kimi Raikkonen, and Mr. Monaco, Russell, Delatraz, Magnussen, and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. Let's see if we can take advantage at the race start to gain a few places. Otherwise, we're looking at a bottom half finish again. All right, no need to get a sassy, Jeff. Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, interesting strategy. So they are looking at a two-stopper. Could I make this a one-stop? Could I make this a one-stop on hards? Like, remove stints. I'd be seven seconds slower. Oh. Let's revert to the strategy then. Um, I like the fact that the projected race time is slower than the original one, knowing that it's literally the same, the, the same strategy. Like, uh, how could I make this quicker? Maybe go for more laps on the softs. Like that? Okay. Uh, we'll go like that. Five lights out, and away we go for the first Hanoi Grand Prix. We're gonna try and stay with uh, with Romain Grosjean for the start. Maybe looking for a little dive bomb. Okay, yeah, now nah, the, the, the dive bombs are a bit too OP this year. Alright, we slightly tapped uh, good old Esteban. Gasly pushed us wide. There's still a car on the inside. Still there. That's not the track. We're going to let Gasly go through. Okay, that was an interesting start. I, I don't understand how they can be this quick at the exit of a straight line. Like, it's mental. Because I'm even using my overtake mode. Grosjean is trying to make a, a little look up the inside. Um, I don't know, it's so weird. Also, I think... Straight line wise, my setup might not be the best as we get extremely close to Giovinazzi at the end of the hairpin. Uh, but we manage to fend off Romain Grosjean rather well. Alright, I won't lie, absolutely nothing is happening. I get close uh, in sector 1 and 3, uh, but sector 2, I just lose my usual second uh, and then I can't do shit. So for now, we are maintaining P17. Uh, nothing is happening ahead, nothing is happening behind, I think we're dropping the Williams uh, and Louis de Letras, but that's literally everything that's happening right now. Oh! Oh! So we've got VSC, and we have lost Louis de Letras, my teammate is gone. Okay, slow down, slow down. Your delta is negative, which means you are too fast. I don't know Reduce what happened to pace. him. I'm gonna guess engine failure. Or just car failure. He's at the exit of a... Uh, of what is turn 2, I guess. Or turn 3. Most of the soft runners are in the pits. Uh, the they're going on to mediums by the looks of it. So I'm gonna guess they're doing soft, mediums, soft. Oh, Lewis stormed out of the pits. Jesus Christ. But we're going to continue on our uh, on our set for a few more laps, I guess. Probably two to three laps, and then we'll pit on uh, the soft compound. Oh, Vettel and Verstappen on the soft. That's interesting. That's quite curious, actually. That's alternate strategies between the leaders. Okay. But you can see how easy I'm getting dropped. Like I'm losing a second and a half per straight if I don't use um, ERS and I, that was with rich mix as well All right Vettel took me I'm gonna guess that Valtteri will do the same there he goes goodbye Valtteri now right, we're gonna pit this lap because I'm I didn't think I'd say that but I'm getting held up by the guys behind uh, and yeah that, that, that's not happening All right I've had enough of them they keep on pushing me everywhere it's like no, right? I've had enough. So we're gonna go into the pits. Uh, I'm I'm guessing we're going to be behind the Haas, which isn't ideal. 
that Grosjean overtaking me, Giovinazzi overtaking me right now. Yeah, we... Not the best move I've ever made. So right. Gasly went on the hards, Latifi's on mediums, Magnussen is on softs. Everyone is going for a very different uh, tire strategy. Yeah. Right, we're catching Magnussen. I believe we should be able to get him in the next rate. At least I hope so. Uh, he's also catching Gasly. Little contact here. Because he's just too slow. In the corners, I'm a beast. When it comes to straight line speed, we're not there anymore. But k won't even have the DRS on Gasly as well. It should be an easy pass on the uh, the Dane. We're going to go on the inside. And easy does it. That's nice now P18. Up next, Pierre Gasly. Not the best place to overtake, uh, I'll agree. But at least we've got that position. That's P17. We now need to chase Romain Grosjean. Now we're getting extremely close to, uh, to Romain here. I believe that we could get him in the next trade because this one is going to be way too short for me to come back on him. Uh, but yeah, we should be able to get Romain in the next trade. Try and make sure that we don't make contact. Oh my god, he's so slow! He's so, so not, so not rapid. Come on. Let's try to get him. Then we'll, uh, we'll chase Giovinazzi down. I lost a lot by staying out on uh, on those softs. God, I'm not catching him. Oh, hell no. Humongous dive bomb. Okay, good work. Great pass. Cheers, Jeff. I'm going to let Ricardo overtake me because uh, we're on a very different strategy. Also, we're not exactly in the same race. Uh, so, yeah, Danny Rick, mate, you can go on your hard compound if you can give me DRS in like, the upcoming sectors as well. Uh, that'd be nice. We'll see if I can uh, follow him. Uh, but we're already a second down, so doesn't look very promising. Oh, we're going to go into the pits for the second and final time today. Once again, on a set of soft tyres. Uh, come on. Giovinazzi is going to be ahead of me. Uh, Gasly is going to be ahead of me. I'm guessing Gasly has still another stop, right? Surely. I'm so out of sync with everyone that I'm kind of lost. Grosjean's 20 seconds behind me. Come on, I have to get uh, at least ahead of him. 1.8! What a stop from the boys! Come on! Okay, here's Roman Grosjean. Alright, it's fine. We, we should be able to get the... Oh, come on, accelerate, boss man! We're gonna get DRS of him. And we'll get him... Uh, you know, actually, we're gonna get him in the next rate. Actually, I wanted to get him now, because he was too slow. Not like, way too slow. You know, I can tell you, I'm pushing that car to its limits. Like, genuinely. I've never sweat or sweated, I don't know what the past tense is, but... I am sweating this so much. But I like it, because... We're now four seconds behind Giovinazzi. There's also they're also catching Gasly. I'm guessing the tire wear on the hard compound is starting to uh, well get a bit uh, a bit important for Pierre Gasly. All right, we came back on Pierre Gasly. Uh, we're going to let him do these corners, and then we shall overtake him maybe a bit after. Nah, nah, boss man, you've got no grip. You've got no tires. I'm sorry, boss man, but I'm leaving you behind. I have Giovinazzi to catch. Potentially Kifia as well. Kifia is just up the road. I'm gaining about 1.5 second a lap. So, I feel like I might have enough to go and catch these guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And Gio is behind now. He's so much faster. Come on, on the brakes, on the brakes, on the brakes. Yes! We move. Up next, Daniel Kofia. 
We've got two more laps. Come on. All right. We're going to have one and a half lap to get Daniel Kofia. One and a half lap. And we have no ERS. It's going to be extremely tough. This is your final lap. Final lap. Final lap of the race. We have a, a slight end plate issue on the front right. Uh, which kind of ruins everything. Like, I didn't think it'd be that big of a deal, but in the final sector, you genuinely feel it a lot. Uh, we're gonna go back to... we can go to Red Wings for the entire lap now. Alright, come on. Can we get him? It's a shame, because, like, the points are just ahead of Kimi. And I know I have the pace to get him. Inside... Oh, come on! Stop closing the door, mate! That was extremely tense. And now we need to defend from a guy who's going to get DRS off me. There's and I have no ERS. Remaining. We're going to stick to the inside. He's going to go for a move. Ooh, we ran deep. Tank slapper at the end. We're going to make it stick. We're going to go back to standard just in case. But it should be P15, P14 actually, in this Vietnam Grand Prix, Vietnamese Grand Prix, Hanoi Grand Prix, however you want to call it. I'm quite, quite happy with it. Quite happy with the performance. Started like what, 18th I think? Yeah, I'll, I'll take 14th. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, a driver of the day for Mr. Monaco, so I'll take that. Um, P14, well, we started 18th. What I do like to see is the fact that we are the, f the only car in the bottom 10, right? Or at least the, the only car in Formula 1.5 and below within the 139. Which means I do have some pace, which is decent, okay? That's, that's a good thing for me. Um, now I really need to figure to figure out our engine uh, or our straight line speed because this is where we're lacking. Because I did the same lap as <laughs> as Alex. I did a quicker lap than than Charles Leclerc. That's really weird. Okay. Um, but no, like I genuinely need to figure out why is the straight line speed this low. Uh, also, disappointing day for uh, for Louis. Obviously, getting a DNF. Uh, early on in the race but I'll take 14th place what does that mean standing wise uh, Valtteri Bottas is leading the GC ahead of Charles Leclerc and Lewis Hamilton who won the oh yeah no, it was Lewis okay getting 26 points today uh, and drivers uh, constructors four teams with zero points Alfa Tauri with three points go on lads uh, well, why do I say go on like, you're literally my opponents um, but it's not a bad race out of the three races we did this one is the one I'm the most proud of. Alright, this is where we're going to wrap up this episode. We're just going to take a look at the... Uh, no, we didn't get any message. Um, we're going to take a look at our RNG. Can we improve anything? Because Haas is now ahead of us. And that's not something I want to see. When are these upgrades, like, arriving? Genuinely. Uh, let's have that. 22nd of April, Jesus Christ, that's far. Uh, can I get this? Nope. Can I get this? It's in development. When is, like... Fam, why is this so slow? Why is the RNG this slow? They're all meant to arrive in April. What month are we? April, yeah, fair enough. Uh, how many upgrades for the next race? Three, okay. We'll see where that puts us. It should put us once again ahead of Haas. Uh, alright, 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 alright. We're gonna buy the simulator. We're gonna buy the simulator. Because uh, in my second save, it worked quite well. Uh, but yeah, as I said, this is where we're going to wrap up this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, then please do leave a like down below. Um, now, I don't know when this will come out, right? Potentially on Sunday slash Monday 
uh, this will be the final episode for two weeks because then I, I mean I should go on holiday I don't know if I'm still going um, but just if there's no videos on F1 after that it is because I'm on holidays so the series will go back end of July early August um, so yeah I hope nevertheless that you guys that you guys will be there for episode four which will be the Chinese Grand Prix. But as I said, my name has been Blacko. It has been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys. Have a great day and goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm bleeding. What am all the money feeding? I don't want to go bombi. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bear. Snapping with a phone and dab. Boss up, I'm out with the duster. Put him in a drip and sip, love buster.